Ever since a youngster at Santos, Neymar has been famous for his rainbows. Firstly, his style is kind of different. He lifts the ball up more to the side than most other players do. And sometimes he even uses it as a pass. Another type of rainbow he does very often is just a small chip. He often performs this skill move if the ball is coming towards him with perhaps a little bit of bounce and a defender is rushing against him, he might just flick the ball over his head and then move in the opposite direction. When you try to attempt this, make sure that when you make contact with the ball, your knee is fully stretched out. Also, remember to keep your toes pointing up so that the ball goes upwards and not forwards. Finally, he also did this amazing rainbow in a game a couple of weeks back. To perform this skill move, you need to place your dominant foot on top of the ball, drag it towards the toes of your weaker foot, and then kind of chip the ball to the outside of your stronger foot so that you can heal it over the defender. What a lot of people do wrong when they attempt such rainbows is that they kind of rush things and that they don't look at the ball properly. It's important to have your eyes focused on the ball while you trap the ball between your ankles or while you do the chip, just so that you make contact with the ball in the right position. Also, don't forget to use your hip if you want the ball to go further. For example, when Neymar does the rainbow pass, he rotates his hip and moves his upper body so that the ball is kind of slingshotted towards the teammate. Another set of skill moves Neymar often does is various ball rolls. If he is in a sticky situation with perhaps two or three defenders around him, he often does these amazing ball rolls in which he gets out of the situation with the ball. The key to performing these successfully is to always keep the ball close to you so that the opponents can reach in without tackling you. You also need to have very fast feet, but that goes without saying when we're talking about Neymar. He quite often also does his signature fake shot, if you will, where he touches the ball slightly out to the side, opening up his body for a shot, and then brings it across his body, then brings it forward with his other foot. Some general tips for performing Neymar-like ball rolls is that you need to have your balance right. As I said, try to always stay light on your feet so that you're ready to punt the ball forward when the defender reaches in. Also, always keeping the ball close to you and close to your feet is very important. This ensures that defenders can't really take the ball off of you without tackling you. And Neymar is an expert at this, and that is likely why he gets so many free kicks. The nutmeg is probably the most humiliating thing you can experience on the football field. And Neymar does this often several times a game. They are all about timing and conviction. You need to convince your opponent they're going a certain direction just so that they can spread their legs so that you can place the ball between. You need to search for the right moment. You need to be ready to execute it just as the defender lunges in to tackle the ball or if he's running towards you. It is important not to be obvious when you try to go for nutmeg. Don't stare at the defender's leg, that is obviously not going to work. One of the most disrespectful ways you can nutmeg your opponent is with a backwards drag. Neymar often does this after he's gone past one defender and maybe he's being chased by another and just as he steps on the ball the defender lunges in to get the ball from him and he just calmly rolls it through the legs of the defender 
and moving past him. When doing this, keep in mind that you might have to jump to avoid some hefty tackles afterwards. Another thing Neymar does which is kind of disrespectful to the whole team is his flashy first touches. We have all seen the clips of how he receives the ball. He places his right foot behind his left and touches it with the inside of the foot, perhaps even juggles after. If you want to perform this correctly and to have full control of the ball, make sure that you bend the knee of your standing foot. So for example, I'm right footed. If the ball comes towards me and I'm going to attempt a Neymar type touch, I will bend my left knee quite a bit just so that uh, the touch is more dampened and make sure that you actually make contact with the ball with the inside of your strong foot, not the toes and not the heel. That is because when you make contact with the inside of your foot, you can manipulate the ball's movement. You can flick it up towards yourself, you can flick it to the side of a defender or you can place it dead on the floor. If it hits the toes, it's more unpredictable, the same goes for the heel. Sometimes he will also do a little jump with his left foot. I don't think that is necessary, but you can do it. Sometimes if the ball is too high for him to do a Neymar touch with the foot behind his other foot, he might even control the ball with his back. Now if you're doing this, you need to have good control of the flight pattern of the ball. You have to analyze the ball's flight pattern so that it doesn't go too high or too low. The ball needs to hit you right in between the shoulder blades. Not any lower because then it will probably bounce back further and not any higher because that can actually be dangerous for your neck. When receiving the ball, make sure that you bend your knees a little bit and lean a little bit forward so that the chest goes towards the ground so that the ball doesn't just bounce off you like you were standing still. Also when you do this you need to have a plan for the next move. If you have a defender coming up to you then you need to make sure that the touch is going past him. The most safe is obviously if you have a lot of space but that's not always the case. And after you do the touch, make sure you rotate so that you are facing the ball quickly. With both of these examples, it's important to bend your knees so that you're not just standing up straight, but that you actually dampen the ball so that it doesn't go too far away from you. Before doing this, you need to have looked at the flight pattern of the ball quite detailed. You need to make sure that the ball is not going too high or too low. Also, be aware of your surroundings. If you have a lot of space, then it might be easier if you don't have a lot of space, probably not the best option, but it could look very good if you pull it off. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and leave a comment letting us know what the best skill move you learned from this video was. If you're new to the channel and you like what you're seeing, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you stay updated with all our latest videos. Also, we wanted to give a big shout out to Just Football for sponsoring this video. They also sponsored our last video where we recreated the best Champions League goals. It is a very cool app where you can perform challenges with your friends and get in-game cards that can go up in rating as you complete and win challenges. We give a more detailed description of it in that Champions League video which you can check out and uh, yeah there will also be a link to their app in the description so make sure to check it out if it sounds interesting. But yeah that's pretty much all. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.